Welcome back to Back to the Basics. We're doing networking layers one, two, and three. I'm Sean Barr. I'm really stoked about this one. Let's go! Back to basics. We are talking layers one, two, and three of the OSI model. The first layer being physical, the second layer being data link, and the third layer being network. So the physical layer, what is that? That's the wires, the cables, that's everything that you do to connect to the network. That's the physical RJ45, Cat5, you pick, you name it. Everything that plugs into a machine physically, the cabling, that's layer one. The switches have a layer one component. Those little ports that you plug into, that's all layer one. So we're talking physical. It's the wire, the plug, the jacks, everything. That's all layer one. So if you have issues like uh, errors and drop packets, things like that, sometimes that can be a physical problem. And how you see that is CRCs and discards and all of those things on a switch. If you're looking at the port, you'll see those things happening. That could indicate you've got a physical layer problem. The second layer is the data link layer. Now, a lot of network issues wind up happening and being re uh, reduced to a, a layer two type issue. So for example, I've got a firewall that's connected to the internet and for whatever reason, I've got a static host NATed to it. Now I'm saying a bunch of technology words around NAT and translations. We're gonna do videos on all that stuff, but just bear with me. You've got a firewall, you're doing a translation and it does something called proxy ARPing for this public IP. It answers at a layer two light level for this public IP address and then what happens is uh, it, it, that host, the upstream router, sends traffic to the firewall so it can translate it, send it internally. So sometimes when that's not working, hey, my public web server isn't working, you're thinking it's a firewall issue, it's an ACL issue, no, no, no. It could just be a simple layer two issue. So layer two is a fundamental building block and there's brilliance in the basics with this. There, a lot of issues can be resolved by looking at layer two. So making sure that we've covered it completely, every machine has a MAC address physically burned into it. It's a unique address that is on the network. And when a device wants to talk to each other via IP, so that's layer three, uh, we, we are gonna do something called an ARP. And all an ARP is is saying, hey, who's got this IP address? And then the host within earshot on the same subnet will respond with its MAC address and then those two devices can start communicating. So when we talk about Layer three, this is IP addressing. This is where we're talking about subnets, IP address, uh, you know, subnetting, uh, all, all of that stuff. That's happening at layer three. So keeping it very basic, we're talking about on the same subnet, you've got a couple of things happening here. You've got a default gateway. What is that? Well, that's the upstream router. That's how I go from subnet to subnet. Uh, what is my subnet mask? That in combination with the IP address tells me, tells my host what network I'm on, what stuff I can yell for using layer two saying, hey, who's got this IP address and which networks I need to go to my gateway for. So that's what the IP address, combination with the subnet mask, and then the default gateway, that's what those three components do together. When it cannot, a device cannot talk to something on the same subnet because it knows Here's my IP address, here's my subnet mask, I match the two together, and whatever's left on my subnet, I can yell for. The stuff that I can't, I gotta go to the gateway for. And so, when I need to send some traffic, let's say to the internet, the machine knows, it gets back an address, 4.2.2.1, it goes, looks at its IP address, it looks at its mask, and it says, that's not on my network. I go to the gateway, boom, go to the gateway, get access to the internet. So that is network basics, layers one, two, and three. If you like what you're watching, make sure you like, subscribe. If you have comments or you, you, you said, I said something in this video, you go, hey, I wanna know more about that. Let us know and we will do a video for you. Thanks for watching.